Hey guys, thanks for checking out Euclid Mining. Tonight I'm going to show you how to change your firmware on an ASIC miner. Now I have the T17 and I went ahead and I tried to just upload the image. Uh, I tried that earlier, but it didn't work. Uh, I tried it several times. Once I let it go for about 20 minutes, just curious if maybe the network was a little slow or the, 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 the control board itself is just a slower computer trying to uh, load this uh, the software on there so I, I let it go for a while it didn't didn't change anything it didn't happen so i decided i looked at the back i saw that my t17 has a slot for a micro sd some miners do some don't some of them you have to take the uh, top off and look on top of the uh, control board and you'll find one there nonetheless the one for the uh, t17 is right in the back and it's really easy to get to so i went ahead and i've got my eight gigabyte uh, micro sd card now they recommend using eight gigs or less so uh, instead of using like a four gig one you might as well get one that's eight gigs so if you have to use it for anything else i mean at least you have eight gigs which isn't a lot but it's better than having a four gig uh, eight gigs is what they recommend as being maximum uh, some of the newer miners or other models can use a higher um, uh, size but for the most part eight gigabytes is standard for doing this so try to get one of these uh, now, how are you going to get the software from your computer to this? Well, I've got a couple of them. One is this uh, generic little one. It's got a little slot on the back. It's got a USB in the front. I don't know if you can see that. And all you do is take the card and slide it in that slot and then plug that into the computer and away you go. You've got your, you know, your homemade thumb drive. Another one they have I saw online was this one, and this is one that I've used a couple times. So it's got a USB on one side. It's got the adapter for uh, the Android. It's not the USB-C, it's the one just before it. So uh, I forget the name of that, but it's there. So it's got the micro SD slot on this side, and then it has a full SD card slot on that side. So we're gonna use this side, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna take the chip, uh, the, the, the memory, Let's see, which size does it go up? I think it goes like that. And we're going to take it like that, and we're just going to plug it into the computer, and we'll be able to uh, upload files to it. So let me put this in. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, flip screens here. So here it is. It popped up. So we have, uh, we have it ready. So I'll just put that over here. So the next thing we're going to want to do is I went ahead already and I looked at um, the uh, Hivon uh, uh, ASIC firmware. So they have the S17, T17, L3, S10, S9, and T9. So we're going to choose a T17. Now, like I said before, I did download this one to the computer and I went ahead to the uh, upgrade tab and tried to uh, upload this particular one after I'd saved it to the computer, it didn't work. So we're gonna try and do the SD card and see if that will make a difference if we can get this firmware changed. So we're gonna take it from the SD card. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna click on download and it's gonna download it to your computer. So yeah, so we're doing this one. We have the T17 regular, that's the plus they have, or the SD card, the T17E, or again, the SD card. So it looks like we are good to go there. So I am going to go ahead and bring this over. I right, put it in a folder. So this is it here. We're just going to right click on it and extract all. So then the uh, window comes up. We just click extract all and it'll dump it out right into this folder here. So now we've got this one. Now what we want to do here is uh, you want to go ahead and right click on that um, on that micro SD card, we're going to want to make sure we format it. So we're just going to go ahead and format. Now, if there's anything saved on it, at this point, you're going to lose it. So if there's something on it, you may want to transfer it to the computer for now. When you finish this project, you can put this back in, take off the Hive uh, uh, firmware, and then put your stuff back in it or whatever. But don't, don't, for, don't, don't format it yet. <laughs> so I'm going to format mine, but we're going to do FAT32 and quick format is okay we're just going to click start and say yes it'll happen super fast because it's only eight gigs we hit close now we can open that up and it's empty we're just going to click and highlight everything in here we're going to right click on it and copy 
and come over here and right click and paste it. So we are just going to let this all load up and then when I'm done with this, I'm going to take the SD card out, a micro SD card out of there. I'm going to head on down to Crazy Town and we are going to go ahead and uh, let's see if that micro SD slot in the back of this T17 even works. You know this T17 is giving me some trouble, so let's, let's keep our fingers crossed that this thing even works. So all right, that all went in there. So I'm going to go ahead and close that and close that. And then I will pull this out. And then there it is. Now it's on my micro. And I'm going to head downstairs and I'll meet you there. We're in Crazy Town. And we are going to go ahead and I want to go ahead and flash this uh, T17. It's been giving me some trouble with the current um, firmware. And uh, I want to see if changing the firmware is going to make a difference. So we are going to flash it with the Hive, uh, Hive OS. And you saw upstairs that we went ahead and put it on the card. So how we do this when we put it on the card is we put it right into the little slot. You can see it right there. Go ahead and put that all the way in. And then we're going to go ahead and plug this back in real quick. So um, I'm going to have to kind of kind of do this with one hand. All right, so what's supposed to happen is that we'll get the solid light for now. And uh, it's going to take about a minute and a half or so. So we're just going to let that run. Da, 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 da. So while we're waiting for that thing to do its song and dance, um, so we got the uh, S17 with only the one board that's working. Um, I'm debating on selling that. Uh, I did see one of these sell on eBay for almost 2000 bucks with no working hash boards. So I figured if I have one working hash board, um, this might actually sell for a couple bucks. And then I can look to trade up and get actually another one of these, for instance, that is in good working order. Now, I will say that this one is missing one hash board because I did leave it at um, uh, East Coast Miners and they're fixing that one board. But I have been getting a um, power sensor error. I'm sorry, a temperature sensor error. And that's why I'm doing what I'm doing because I, I want to test that and see if it's maybe the firmware or what it is. So I'm putting Hive uh, on this and I'm gonna try it and see what happens. And if that gives me some errors, I may go to stock and just get the Antminer firmware and put it on here and see what that does. And then we'll just kind of go from there. If it's still giving me trouble, I'll bring this back uh, up to um, uh, uh, East Coast Miners. God, these guys, uh, <laughs> well, I'm, it seems like I'm always dropping something off for them. But, so anyway, that's not why we're here. We're here for this. All right, so both of those are flashing now. So that means that it is loaded up, as you can see the flashing. So we're going to go ahead and power this down. And then take the card out. And then that should do it. Um, so let me go ahead and plug this back in. All right, so that is all plugged back in. You can hear that firing up. And we're going to go upstairs and we're going to check this out and see if the new uh, firmware went on for the uh, Hive OS for the T17. So I'll be back in a minute. All right, y'all, we're back upstairs. And what we're going to do now is we need to find the miner. So we're going to uh, go ahead and use a little piece of software that I like to use called Advanced Port Scanner. It's free. You can either do a standalone version where you can just use it once and not install it, or you can go ahead and install the uh, full version. I install it on my computer because I use it from time to time, so uh, it's whatever you want. All you do is I'll have a link in the description below well, where you can download this. And all you're going to do is once you start it up, you're just going to click the scan button. It's really that easy. Uh, so we're just going to let this run. It's going to go through. Now it's going to have blue screens on the left and gray screens. The gray screens are from previous times that it scanned, that it saw, but those IP addresses may have changed. And the blue ones are the active ones. So this thing takes about 30 seconds, maybe uh, at most. As you can see, it's already found uh, a whole bunch. 
so there they are and it's uh, found some other ones that we've had so right here it's going to give me the lineup of the ones that are available so I know some of these numbers uh, from the other uh, IP addresses I know for the other um, L3 plus and such so all we're going to do is we're going to open up a web browser and in there we're going to type in the IP address so I went ahead and chose 2.11 so all I did was come here and typed in 192.168.1.211 and hit enter it comes up with a username and password the uh, default for this is root R -O -O -T, and the password is also root and once you get that in you can go ahead and um, and you can change this if you want to uh, let's see that you know it's funny because the other time when I did this it uh for my other miner I'd have to do this a couple times once I save the password it won't do this but initially it did this for me on the Hive OS for that L3++ um, and you had to log into it several times like that before it finally went in <clears throat> so we go to miner status um, so we're going to go ahead and save it so nothing is working because <clears throat> I don't have anything uh, for configuration because I put a fresh install in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and have to log into my uh, pool account and put all my information here. I do have a video on my L3++ starting from uh, opening the box all the way to mining and I do go ahead and fill out all of this information in here uh, using uh, pool, uh, pool in. So if you wanna watch that video, it'll explain all of this. Tonight I was really just showing you how to use an SD card to update your uh, ASIC. Uh, some are a little bit different. Some have different uh, times when you put the chip in, but overall, uh, you can pretty much tell the lights start flashing different and you can tell that it's done. And then of course, just uh, shut it off, turn it back on and go upstairs and try and find it. So, hey, I hope this was helpful. I hope uh, you understood how to do this a little bit better. I know that I have never tried to do it before. So that was a first time success for me. And I was glad that you were there with me. And I'll see you next time. Thumbs up, comments below. I appreciate you.